Where are we? We are at Verdun in Rotterdam, an uh, uh, aquarium shop since 1971. 1971. That's mm -hmm. a long time. That's a long time. Have yeah. you been the owner here the whole? No, it was my father's shop. Okay. And he, he died last year. Oh, really? But until his death, he was walking around and just feeding the fish and just doing everything. Doing all the work. Yeah, doing all the work. Staying with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correctly. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so did you grow up here, just yes, I working grew up. all yep. the time? And Not working all the time, just walking around and just feeding the fish when I'm from this side. Uh -huh. I used to breed guppies, which I really, really loved, and then my father sold them for to feed them to other fish. Oh yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. I think yeah. that's what happens to the guppies, unfortunately, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so. What's the main focus here? Because it's mostly cichlids. It's and mostly cichlids. Yeah, yeah that's and correct. so would you say 80% cichlids? Um, we have 80% cichlids, but we do sell a lot of tropical fish. Okay. Because um, big city Rotterdam, yeah. uh, lots of people, and we do have the bread and butter stuff. Right. But we try to have also the, the more rare species, mm -hmm. and then um, we try to do everything, and we just if I see something new, I want to have it. Yeah. <laughs> Just breathe. <laughs> Uh, so this is almost like an extended greenhouse where you keep everything in here. Yeah, we started in the greenhouse. Okay. We, we, my father started with uh, uh, breeding um, Congo, tetras or Congo salmon. Okay. The, yeah. the Phenacogramus uh, interruptus. Right. We used to breed them. And when the first uh, cichlids came on the market mm -hmm. in 1970 something, yeah. he was really, ah, that's new, that's cool. So he started breeding cichlids and he started importing them, breeding them, exporting them. We export them to all over the world. Right. And um, yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. It's really nice in here. There's like its own weather system. Yeah. Get a, little, get a little water, a little rain. It's a bit, a bit like a jungle. But yeah, it's I a like little it bit like of a that. jungle. I, mm -hmm. I enjoy it very much. It's, it's, it's an old fashioned store. Yeah. I mean, um, we, we're trying to, to update to upgrade it a bit right that it's it's not the it's not the way we we are you right. know that that well it's mainly just repair and replace as, as yeah needed, we right? were going to replace that site next yeah. week year and then okay. it, it will be okay that's awesome i really mm -hmm. like it so 1971 i don't know if i'm i'm not very good at math how many years almost, is that? 50. almost 50 years so that'll be 48 years right mm -hmm. correct so in two years you're gonna have a big Party, 50th yeah. anniversary yeah. Oh, party, <laughs> yeah. and I'll have okay. to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. 
Um, so business obviously is, is doing fairly well. You're doing fine. We're, we're doing fine. Yeah. yeah, it's always going up and down, up and down. And uh, sometimes you concentrate more on cichlid, sometimes you concentrate more on tropical fish. Right. It, it depends on the market. Yeah. We used to export a lot. Uh, export has gone down. Mm -hmm. Now I only do uh, a few exports a year, which are really specialized. Right, so very like timed. Okay. Yeah, people That's just cool. asking me for special fish, and um, I'm going to collect them for them, and then we send them to, uh, yeah. to wherever. Awesome. Because I'm from America, mm -hmm. One thing I need to point out that people consistently ask me, they want to start breeding or a store or something like that. And you did mention earlier, you own the property, right? Yes. So as I tell people consistently, you have to find one element of this type of business, if it's a fish business, that free is not the right word, but you're, you're not being charged for it, right? Uh, whether um, it be you, solar power it, it, or... It, 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 it takes a lot of time right. and energy, mm -hmm. not the solar energy, but also the energy right. of, of the work. So you really, really have to have a lot of motivation. Yeah. And um, at this time, energy, the, the solar systems, whatever you can find, you have to, um, difficult to explain, but it's, it's, it's more difficult to start an aquarium shop right now than it was 20 or 30 years ago. Right. Um, the, the property is more expensive, yeah. the, 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 the energy is more expensive, and uh, there are less people who have tanks. Yeah. So, yeah, really dedicated. And if you're really dedicated, it works out well. It yeah. doesn't matter what you do. Right. Well, one thing in the U.S. that we talk about is um, if, if something could be covered, it's like if you have water rights. So. Mm -hmm. Obviously, here in the that's, Netherlands, that's, you have to pay for fresh water. We have to pay for fresh same, water. But same in the United States, but if you, uh, you can economize that in the United States if you were, for, for instance, operating off of your own well. Mm -hmm. um, so you're not paying the extremely high rate. So, um, you know, the financial stuff always comes up. So. It's, uh, yeah, but we're lucky in the Netherlands. We have excellent tap water. Right. The tap water is even better than the water you buy in bottles. Oh, yeah. It's, it, I have to convince everybody, tap yeah. water in the Netherlands, like that. I do, I do have to say, like, I'm, I'm from the West Coast, mm -hmm. and uh, well, it if, it, our water is very close to... Yeah, I uh, think so. It's very clean, very nice. Yeah. Uh, and one of the funny things is, when I go to other parts of the world, mm -hmm. the easy way to tell is when you take a shower in the morning. <laughs> take a shower <laughs> in the morning, yeah. and you get out, and it's like, Ew. I'm still dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, that's uh, correct. Yeah, and here it definitely is, has been, yeah. oh, I feel like, oh, it's my water at home. It's yeah, very that's nice. correct. And um, that's also one of the issues maybe with other shops. We uh, keep our fishes in, in, in tap water. Mm -hmm. We don't do anything to, uh, to change the water. Okay. So if we sell a fish, we can uh, say to the, to, the, to, the, to the one who buys the fish, okay, you can just put them in, in the tap water. You right. can use a bit of uh, conditioner. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. If you have your own well, then you have to take care that the well is, um, that there's no salt in the water or yeah. other minerals which are completely different than the, uh, than the, the, the water in the tanks right. from your customer. Yeah, make it, yeah, yeah, that definitely makes it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't have to do much to treat my water where I'm at, but there are yeah. definitely parts in the US where it's like... Chlor. Is this oh, concrete yeah. coming out of the tap? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that does make sense. I just forgot the question I was going to ask, but you were telling us an interesting story about these giant frontosas back here. Oh yes, they're coming from the zoo. This frontosa <laughs> is huge. It's huge. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we. I got some still pictures, so I'll get some up close. Okay. So people will be able to check that out. But these came from the zoo. Yeah. We we used to um, deliver fishes to the zoo uh -huh. in Rotterdam. Okay. And they had a, a huge hall, Amazon hall, with all kinds of... Well, it looked a bit like this, right. but yeah. better, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And uh, a few years ago, they stopped, uh, they decided to, to um, not demolish the hall, because it became a monument, and right. they make a kid's playground out of it. Oh, okay. So all the tanks were removed uh, with, uh, with snakes, uh, spiders, but also the fish. They moved 
some fish to another part, but these, they said, well, we cannot keep them anymore. And they said, right. well, you already have them for over 10 years, bring them back. Yeah. So I just put them in this tank. They're, that one is over 20, 20, 25 years old. I just mm -hmm. keep it there. Okay. It stay there. I wanted to ask, what are you most excited about right now, currently? Right now? Um, is there something new you're working with? Because do you guys put yeah, focus new, the, 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 on breeding here as much? We used to, okay. but nowadays it's cheaper to, to buy fishes from elsewhere okay. than to breed them. So what we breed is just out of fun. Right, or incidental. <laughs> Hobby. <laughs> or um, because uh, it's difficult to, 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 to buy them or we are not satisfied with the quality of the fish we buy then we breed them our own, okay. ourselves. Oh, I, mean. right. Makes sense. Um, I think West African cichlids, West African cichlids and all um, new species which come from West Africa. Yeah. Uh, we, have, um, uh, we have a few people here in the Netherlands, also in Germany, who are really excited, who are just going over there, collecting new fish and yeah well that's 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 pretty exciting yeah and you have every year a bit of reclam of course no you have the the, the WAC meeting in uh, in germany which is a convention about okay. west african cichlids but also uh, on on uh, killifish and all other kinds of fish it's really interesting nice. because there i see fishes i've never seen before yeah for example the the new uh, uh for example the finico romus uh, species fantastique mm -hmm. which is from uh, congo yeah. i have it over there it's beautiful beautiful colors yeah. so new fish which i never have seen before those are interesting awesome I told your colleague before, um, sometimes I see on the list at the, at the wholesaler a fish which I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Then I go to the wholesaler just to see that fish. Just to go check it out. Just to check it out. Yeah. And then I cross, seen it. That's Next awesome. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you got the big list, like mm -hmm. get all these marked Working, up. Yeah. 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 It's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for having us. Okay. Um, you're I welcome. could definitely, we could ask about fish, but there's so many. Oh, yeah. Uh, any kind of specifics it's like well, what ph should these be in you know mm -hmm. uh, but it is nice to know that you basically are doing all of the legwork to convert the fish for the success of the local hobbyist and yeah that's, that's pretty much that's the goal that we should hopefully see from every store which we mm -hmm. don't see in the u.s like this much care uh, and attention we no, don't typically see from our stores they're kind of Commercial. Yeah, some people think, oh, it's just a fish, but you're, it's a, it's, it's a living animal, so yeah. you have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Very much. And I know everyone is going to ask, what size is this tank? Oh, great. Well, it's, <laughs> I think, 10,000 something about approximately. 10, yes, it okay. is. And that it's about good. the right size, is what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's. If you have it garage, just cut out. So we have 10,000 liters. We have to divide by two point whatever, and then we'll have gallons. Yeah, then you have gallons. And then the gringos can figure it out. But right? I always say to people, just don't put your car in the garage. That's right. Put just fish in the garage. Put fish in the garage and make a, a window like this to your to your living room. <laughs> Perfect. That's where my fish that are there. I have fish room in my garage. The car can't go in there. <laughs> so it works better because it makes keeps my keeps my spouse happy because mm -hmm. everything's in the shop. Mm -hmm. There's no there's not fish mm -hmm. tanks all over mm -hmm. the house. Yeah, so perfect. it works pretty good. But, uh, thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully we'll yeah, get to around. come back sometime soon. Yeah. It's a long flight. Mm-hmm. <laughs>